Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Friday and I have your word for the day. Have you ever heard the expression, it gets darker or darkest right before the dawn? I remember times when I was younger, when I would uh, drive through the night, it always felt like the hardest time to stay awake while driving was right before the dawn. But then the sun would begin to pop up and I would feel less sleepy. So in Exodus, Moses had finally agreed to listen to God, talk to Pharaoh, and tell him that the God of the Hebrews wants Pharaoh to let his people go free. So Moses did. And we can read about it, uh, Pharaoh's response in Exodus chapter 5, verses 6 through 23. Pharaoh's response was, I don't know this God of yours. And, and you're keeping people, the Israelites, from their work by talking to them about freedom. From now on, I'm going to make them work harder. And then for, Pharaoh forced them to make more bricks, find more straw, and meet daily quotas. He even grabbed the foreman of the crew when they missed the quota and they beat them. Can you imagine what was going through Moses' mind? He finally listens to God. He finally goes tell Pharaoh to let the Israelites go free. And Pharaoh made things 10 times worse for the Israelites instead of letting them go free. So, in verse 22, Moses goes back to God and he protests once again and says in verse 22, Why have you brought all this trouble on your own people, Lord? Why did you send me? Ever since I came to Pharaoh as your spokesman, he's been even more brutal to your people and you have done nothing to rescue them. Moses said, Pharaoh has made things worse on the people of God and God hasn't done a thing about it. Sometimes it feels like God doesn't listen to our, our pleas or to our, our pleads and our prayers. Sometimes we pray for healing from disease. We pray for others to experience a life-changing relationship with Jesus. We pray for God to move mountains during our dark seasons. And sometimes things seem to go from bad to worse. Here's what I want to remind you of. Freedom is coming. Those Israelites chains they were going to break soon moses just didn't know that the people were going to go free freedom was coming for them and freedom was coming for you but not just yet and i want you to know today if you've been crying out to god and you've been waiting for him to answer your prayers things might get worse before they get better but i can promise you this God loves you. He's not going to allow anything to happen to you that hasn't filtered through his hands of love. He will move mountains for you for his sake because he loves you that much. So keep being persistent. Even while you're driving through the darkness, keep pouring your heart out to God. Keep trusting him and believe by faith that freedom is coming. It might be dark right now, but hang on to that steering wheel and keep driving towards the sun. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, apply it, or leave a comment. God bless.